Hello travel enthusiasts, it's time to pack your bags and embark on an exciting journey. But before we start, don't forget to follow our channel and hit that subscribe button for more amazing travel content. Today, we're setting course for the land down under, a continent that's as diverse as it is captivating. Australia, a place where cityscapes meet landscapes, where the modern coexists with the ancient, and where every turn can lead to a new adventure. We'll be taking you on a virtual tour of the top 10 must-visit places in this breathtaking country. From the iconic Sydney Opera House to the serene Whitsunday Islands, from the majestic Uluru to the vibrant Daintree Rainforest, we have much to explore. So, are you ready to explore the top 10 must-visit places in Australia? Buckle up and let's dive straight in. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the iconic Sydney Opera House. A masterpiece of late modern architecture and an emblem of Australia's creative and technical prowess, this venue is more than just a place to enjoy the performing arts. Designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzen, the Sydney Opera House is an architectural marvel that pushes the boundaries of design and engineering. Its roof, resembling a group of massive seashells, is made up of over a million tiles and is recognized worldwide as a symbol of Sydney. Built between 1959 and 1973, the Opera House was a feat of construction. Its creation was fraught with challenges, leading to the resignation of its original architect and a final cost of more than 14 times the original budget. But the result? A UNESCO World Heritage Site that attracts more than 8 million visitors each year. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the Sydney Opera House hosts more than 2,000 performances each year? From classical music concerts to contemporary dance and theater productions, the Opera House is a hub of cultural activity. Moreover, it's not just about what's on stage. With its panoramic views of the Sydney Harbor and the city skyline, the Opera House offers a feast for the eyes even before the curtain rises. Truly, a visit to Australia is incomplete without witnessing the grandeur of the Sydney Opera House. Coming in at number 9, we dive into the colorful world of the Great Barrier Reef. Stretching over 2,000 kilometers, this is the planet's largest coral reef system. Its grandeur is such that it can be seen from space. But the real magic is in the up-close encounter. The reef is a bustling city of marine life. Picture vibrant corals of all shapes and sizes, forming an underwater metropolis. This ecosystem is home to a staggering array of creatures, from the playful clownfish darting between anemones to the majestic humpback whales breaching the surface. Life here thrives in technicolor. And the Great Barrier Reef isn't just for the fish, it's a paradise for human visitors too. Whether you're a seasoned diver or a first-time snorkeler, this underwater wonderland opens up a world of discovery. You can glide alongside giant sea turtles, admire the iridescent scales of parrotfish, or watch in awe as a manta ray effortlessly glides by. For those who prefer to stay dry, there's still plenty to enjoy. Glass-bottom boat tours offer a window into this underwater world, while scenic helicopter flights provide a bird's-eye view of the reef's vast expanse. But the Great Barrier Reef isn't just a tourist attraction. It's a vital part of our planet's health, a living testament to the beauty of nature, and a reminder of our responsibility to protect it. A world of aquatic wonder, the Great Barrier Reef is a paradise for snorkelers and divers alike. At number eight, we find ourselves in the heart of Australia, standing before the majestic Uluru. This colossal sandstone monolith, also known as Ayers Rock, is a sacred site to the indigenous Anangu people, who have held it in reverence for millennia. Their ancient rock paintings and stories, etched and told over generations, echo the timeless connection between the land and its people. Uluru is not just a sight, it's an experience. Imagine watching the rock change hues as the sun sets, from fiery red to deep purple, like a chameleon under the desert sky. This natural spectacle, a play of light and color, is a testament to Uluru's unique geological composition. The surrounding area is a microcosm of the Australian outback, it's teeming with native flora and fauna that have adapted to the harsh desert climate. From the resilient spinifex grass to the adorable marsupial mole, life here has perfected the art of survival. And let's not forget about the stunning katachuta, also known as the olgas. 
These domed rock formations, just a stone's throw from Uluru, add another layer of mystery and allure to this remote part of the world. Uluru is more than just a rock. It's a living, breathing testament to Australia's ancient heritage and the enduring resilience of its land and people. With its ethereal beauty and cultural richness, Uluru is truly a sight to behold. Sailing to number seven, we reach the stunningly beautiful Whitsunday Islands. This archipelago of 74 islands is a jewel nestled in the heart of the Great Barrier Reef off the tropical coast of Queensland. These islands are a paradise on earth, draped in lush greenery and surrounded by azure waters that sparkle under the golden sun. The islands are renowned for their breathtakingly beautiful beaches. The most famous Whitehaven Beach is a seven-kilometer stretch of pristine silica sand that is as white as snow. It's an ethereal landscape where the turquoise water merges with the white sand, creating a mesmerizing kaleidoscope of blue and white hues. Beyond the beaches, the Whitsunday Islands are a haven for water sports. Sailing is a popular pastime here, with the tranquil waters offering perfect conditions for a leisurely sail. Yachts dot the horizon, their white sails billowing in the gentle breeze. And for those seeking a bit more adventure, snorkeling and diving offer a glimpse into the vibrant underwater world of the Great Barrier Reef. But the fun doesn't stop at the water's edge. The islands offer beach camping options, where you can spend the night under a canopy of stars, the sound of the waves lulling you to sleep. Imagine waking up to a breathtaking sunrise over the ocean, the air filled with the sweet scent of the sea. For beach lovers and water sports enthusiasts, the Whitsunday Islands offer an unforgettable experience. At number six, we step into the lush green wilderness of the Daintree Rainforest. As the oldest rainforest on Earth, the Daintree is a living testament to the planet's ancient past. Its staggering biodiversity includes over 3,000 species of plants, some of which date back to the time of dinosaurs. The Daintree isn't just a plant lover's paradise. It's also a refuge for an array of unique wildlife. The rainforest is home to the elusive cassowary, a flightless bird that's often considered a living dinosaur. Then there's the tree kangaroo, which as the name suggests, is a kangaroo that's adapted for life in the trees. The Daintree is teeming with such wonders of nature. But the Daintree rainforest isn't just about sightseeing, it's about experiencing. Imagine ziplining through the jungle canopy, or jungle surfing, as it's locally known. Feel the thrill of whizzing past ancient trees and spotting wildlife from a bird's eye view. After that adrenaline rush, you might want to unwind with a serene river cruise. As you gently glide along the Mossman or Daintree River, keep an eye out for the prehistoric-looking saltwater crocodile basking on the riverbanks. The Daintree Rainforest is more than just a place, it's a sensory journey. It's the rustling of leaves overhead, the chorus of bird calls, the earthy scent of damp soil, and the coolness of the forest air. Brimming with life, the Daintree Rainforest offers an adventure of a lifetime. Rising up to number five, we have the magnificent Twelve Apostles. This spectacular site is situated off the shore of Port Campbell National Park in Victoria. These towering limestone structures, carved out by the relentless Southern Ocean, stand tall against the winds of time. Each one of these majestic formations has its unique character, shaped by millions of years of geological activity. The tallest of the apostles reaches up to about 70 meters, a testament to the power of nature's sculpting hand. The surrounding landscape complements the apostles with its rugged splendor. Cliffs, archways, and gorges etched by the ocean waves span the coastline, creating a dramatic backdrop for these mighty sentinels. But the true magic unfolds as the sun begins to set. The sky, painted in hues of orange, pink, and purple, casts a warm glow on the apostles. The limestone structures, bathed in this brilliant light, seem to come alive. The water sparkles, the air is filled with the scent of the ocean, and time seems to stand still. Even the name, the Twelve Apostles, carries a sense of mystery and grandeur. Although there are only eight standing today, the name persists, adding to the allure and mystique of this natural wonder. A natural wonder, the Twelve Apostles are a testament to the breathtaking beauty of Australia. Their silent stories of resilience and endurance echo across the waves, and are inspiring awe in every visitor. They stand as a reminder of nature's power and the timeless beauty of our planet. 
Driving into number four, we find ourselves on the sandy shores of Fraser Island. This isn't your typical beach getaway. It's the world's largest sand island and a natural wonder in its own right. Stretching over 120 kilometers along Australia's eastern Queensland coast, it's a marvel of geological formations and biodiversity. And let's not forget about the island's unique dingo population. These aren't your ordinary dogs. These are pure, wild dingoes, the last of their kind in eastern Australia. They roam freely here, adding a touch of wildness to the island's serene beauty. But Fraser Island isn't just about sightseeing. It's also a hotspot for adventure. Go on a four-wheel drive tour through the island's sandy highways, or try your hand at fishing in the clear blue waters. There's always something thrilling to do here. With its unique ecosystem and adventure activities, Fraser Island is a must visit. It's a place where nature's grandeur meets human spirit, creating an experience that's truly unforgettable. Hopping to number three, we land on the wildlife haven of Kangaroo Island. Nestled off the mainland of South Australia, this place is a sanctuary for an array of animals. From cuddly koalas to bounding kangaroos, it's a real-life Noah's Ark, offering a glimpse into Australia's unique wildlife. But it's not just about the wildlife. The island prides itself on its conservation efforts, boasting numerous sanctuaries and national parks that protect its biodiversity. These places are not just about preserving the environment, they're about education and engagement too. And if you're up for some adventure, the island's got you covered. There are wildlife tours that will bring you up close and personal with the animals. Or, if you prefer to go at your own pace, there are countless hiking trails to explore, each offering its own unique view of the island's landscape and its inhabitants. For wildlife enthusiasts, Kangaroo Island is an absolute delight. Standing tall at number two, we have the mysterious pinnacles. Imagine a desert landscape, punctuated by thousands of towering limestone pillars, some reaching as high as three and a half meters. This is the Pinnacles Desert in Western Australia, a place that truly feels like another world. These intriguing structures were formed over millions of years as seashells were broken down into sand and then eroded by water and wind. The result is a mesmerizing display of nature's artistry, varying in shapes and sizes. Some are jagged, sharp, and tall, while others are smooth and squat, creating an ever-changing landscape that shifts with the passing light. As the sun sets, the pinnacles take on a different character. The golden rays of the setting sun cast long shadows and bathe the pillars in a warm, ethereal glow. This is a sight to behold, a testament to the beauty and mystery of nature. A visit to the pinnacles is like stepping onto another planet. And finally, at number one, we splash into the vibrant life of Bondi Beach. Here, the beach culture is as iconic as the golden sands and sparkling blue waters that have made this destination a must-visit spot in Australia. In the heart of this bustling beachside suburb, you'll find the Bondi Icebergs Pool, a historic landmark where you can take a dip while overlooking the vast ocean. It's a captivating blend of man-made and natural beauty that you can't miss. But Bondi isn't just about lazing on the beach. It's a hub of activity, where you can ride the waves on a surfboard, join in a game of beach volleyball, or even partake in a beachside workout at the outdoor gym. The spirit of Bondi is all about embracing the outdoors and living life to the fullest. So, whether you're a beach bum or an adrenaline junkie, Bondi Beach has something for everyone. And that brings us to the end of our exciting journey across the top 10 must-visit places in Australia. We've taken you from the vibrant cityscape of Sydney with its iconic opera house to the breathtaking beauty of the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system. We've marveled at the majesty of Uluru, a sacred rock formation in the heart of the outback, and relaxed on the pristine beaches of the Whitsunday Islands. We ventured into the lush, ancient Daintree rainforest and admired the dramatic limestone formations of the Twelve Apostles. We've explored the sandy shores of Fraser Island, the rugged wilderness of Kangaroo Island, and the stark beauty of the Pinnacles. And finally, we've soaked up the sun on the world-famous Bondi Beach. Each destination, with its unique charm and allure, contributes to the rich tapestry that is Australia. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Australia. Don't forget to follow our channel and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Until next time, happy travels.